Hello, everyone. This is Saturday, February the 19th, 2022, at 12 p.m. noon, and it is minus 7 degrees Celsius, which puts us about minus 14 with the wind chill factor. This is a bit of wind today, okay? So, we're in downtown Dartmouth today. And we're going to be walking around down here. Kind of see what's going on today. It's Saturday, so... How we take a walk downtown and see what's going on? Are you ready? All right, let's go. I am on Portland Street right now. My last video I made, I had a problem with wind. I have a microphone with a wind chill, but there was so much wind, it didn't help. I had to scrap my video. That was supposed to come up on Friday. But because of the wind noise, I, I couldn't use it. So I'm hoping today will be a little bit better. I put my microphone right inside my jacket pocket. It's fairly close to where I'm speaking, so I, I probably gonna be all right. However, I will stop at some point and check it to see if I can hear my voice coming through all right. If I am, then that's great. It's got a windshield and it's inside my pocket. It might work. So how's everybody today? If you're out walking around, I can tell you you're cold because it might be minus seven, but it sure don't feel like minus seven. It feels a lot colder than that. There's enough wind chill to make it feel pretty sharp. So, anyways, I'm trying my best to get a video for you folks because, like I said, I ruined my other one from the wind. I thought I thought I was staying in the wind reasonably well, but it turned out it was just nothing but. It sounded like thunder going off every every couple of seconds. It was that bad. The wind was that bad. So I couldn't do anything but scrap it. And we tried to fix it. We put it on the computer and used some filters and things like that to help take some background noise out. But it didn't help. It was too much. It sort of disguised it a little, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't the answer. The only answer was. We had to not use it. Right, so that was that. So we'll try our best to make a, a video today. Hopefully this turns out. There's a little bit of wind blowing, but I'm hoping that maybe since I got the microphone in my jacket pocket that I gotta block out enough wind. I thought if I just put my hand in over my mic it would help, but no, it didn't help. It didn't help at all. It didn't help, not, not a little bit. So the area I did on, that was supposed to be bought for Friday. I did on Thursday for Friday. And I'll have to go back into that area again and read there where there's nothing that won't keep. I will go back there and do that another day when there's no wind blowing. Sometimes I'm able to stay out of the wind with buildings and things and sometimes it doesn't work out too good. Well, I'm downtown on Portland Street right now getting a bit of sunshine right here. It feels good. I'll tell you that. It feels really good to get some warm sunshine when that wind's blowing like that. It's not... It doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of wind at, at minus 7 to feel cold. Minus 7 is cold on its own. But you get a little bit of breeze with it, and it's pretty cold. So we'll do our best today. And hopefully this all goes well 
and I'm gonna I got a first chance again I'm gonna test my my microphone and see if it's working on my putting it in my pocket see if that's helping any okay it might, it might be it could be possibly helping it's just worth a try right you don't know until you try it if it muffles me too much I'll have to do something different but I'm hoping that'll be all right it's fairly close to my mouth I'm, I'm, I'm about eight inches from my microphone so it, it's probably gonna work out all right I would imagine hello how are we doing today oh I'm not doing too bad that guy I talked to back there he's a poet he sells his poems on the street and hello yes if it's all right do you mind uh when you edit that do you mind editing me out if that's okay we may not see you yeah yeah sure i'll my son does that for me he helps me we we put it in the computer and then we go over it and, mm -hmm. yeah sure if you don't want to be in there then we'll take you out thank you very much yep i don't like being on camera very much you don't no, no it don't bother me i don't care that's good. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, I'll tell my, because I just started my video just about five, seven minutes ago. Oh, okay. So I'll tell my son at the beginning of the video, watch for a guy sitting there and he don't want to be in it. Thank you. And it's just a little, just a little clip in your gun. Sounds good. Yep. Okay, see you later. try to my best. I mean, I don't have to, but I will. I'll be a, I'll be a nice person. He doesn't want to be seen. We'll take him out. No big deal. Well, where are we going to go today? I'm not sure. Let's go this way. All right, let's walk up here. We gotta walk around some side streets and stuff anyway. I'm just gonna take a chance that this is gonna be okay on the recording with my mic in my pocket. Because I think it will be. Just gonna take a chance because I don't wanna waste time going and trying it. And then it's good and I break up the, the video. Why don't just keep going? And uh, it should be all right. If we go good, I'll have to try again, but it should be okay. Well, I'm out of the wind right now. I saw a flag back there somewhere, and I just got to see which way it's blowing. But right here where I am right now, I don't feel any wind. So that should be good. I'm at the corner of King and Queen. I've been here before a couple of times in my videos. So let's go this way. I think I'll just walk right across here. It'd be a good, good plan. Just go right down King Street. Queen Street. There we go. Whichever this is. Queen. I think this is Queen. King. I can't decide if it's King or Queen. I was on the corner of King and Queen right there. Hang on, I gotta tell you properly what this is, which street is which, because I'm not sure which way was which. That one there is King. Okay, so we are on Queen. There we go, that settles that. I'm on Queen Street. All right, got me some slack. I haven't been here that long. I'm not from a, I'm not from those countries. Well, I 
live here now. Born in New Brunswick, spent half my life in Ontario. So I'm fairly new here to this place. A lot of streets I don't know by name yet. But I guess I'll get there eventually. Hopefully. I can see which way the wind blowing right there on those steam coming out. But as long as you're behind the buildings and things, you don't have to worry too much about wind. So that's my that's my strategy today. I'm gonna to try to stay out of the wind. Keep buildings close to me so they'll block the wind. Okay, I can go down the street, it's a one-way street, but and it's called Edward. Edward Street. We're gonna walk down Edward. It's a one way, but we can walk both ways. We can only drive up it on this one little piece and then I see beyond the next street you can go the other way. Strange, isn't it? It must be the width of the street is not wide enough for two lanes. We got a pay parking lot here. And every vehicle in there almost is a half ton except for one car over there and one SUV. Well, this is Saturday. You'll see this on Monday, but this is Saturday. Saturday afternoon now. I didn't do much this morning, get up and... I do the cooking most of the time for our family, so I cooked breakfast this morning for everybody and watched a little TV that came out and washed a great big stack of dishes, did them all up. And by then I was uh, in the mood to go somewhere, so decided to go do a video today for, for Saturday, for, 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 sorry, for Monday. Do it. Today is Saturday. I'm putting it out on Monday. That's my plan. Okay. Well, I'm still staying out of the wind pretty good. Is this still Edward Street? I don't know. Because it, it might be. When I get up to the next intersection, we'll see. Well, I guess you can say I'm walking north on Edward Street. One thing there is in Dartmouth, there's lots of parking. There's another parking lot right there. Monthly, it's a monthly parking, so if you work downtown here in an office or something, you can uh, drive right there and park. A few of those around. Some of them by the hour and some of them by the month. They just sign on to pay your bill once a month. And, and you can go right in there and park every morning. For some people, that's all they can do because they got maybe a 20-minute commute into the city. They work in an office, and that's all they can do. Okay, I am North Street and Edward. No, don't confuse the North Street with with don't confuse the North Street with North Street in Halifax. It's a different North Street. It's still North Street, but it's a different one. All right, let's walk up here. No exit from this road. So let's just go up and see what's, what's here. I think I've driven up it before and had to turn around. So you know, you can't go up, turn right on Edward to come up here. Oh, is this Edward? No, no, this... Oh, sorry, I, I, I got the wrong name there. I'm not sure what this is called. Okay, forget about that comment. I will let you know the name of this if I see it.
Okay. North Street, I guess, yeah. This is still north. It goes right around the turn. Still North Street. So it seems. It's all one street, okay. Look at this, pretty pretty cool, this sharp turn right here. It's just wide enough for one car. And no parking, I guess not. Look at this, pretty cool, huh? How many places do you see a turn that looks like this? All right? That's why there's no going that way. You don't want cars to collide on this turn. Wow, that's pretty cool. North Street comes right up and turns into a, a 90 degree turn in a one way, wide enough for one car. There's a fire station right there at the end. Want to walk up a steep hill? Hopefully there's not too much wind up there. If there's too much wind, we'll come back down. There's a steep hill right there. I'm just exploring some back streets here today, looking around at Dartmouth, because some of these places I don't really go because I have no reason but other than making a video. That's my sole purpose for walking here. And I can tell you this is a steep hill. <laughs> if you want to see a steep hill, this is it. You won't be walking too far up a hill like this. I would say this hill is a is a 45 degree hill probably. It's very steep. Yeah, yeah, it's probably probably 45 degrees up this hill. When I get up here, I'll turn around and you can see how steep this was. Wow, the sun is beautiful up here. No, I'm not getting any wind. And this is just great. Now I'm going to turn around and show you where we walked. That's our road. We just came up. I see a dog coming down the sidewalk. We'll give him some room. So we're just exploring today. Out exploring the back streets of Dartmouth. So far, so good. I haven't had any wind to contend with. I do know the wind blowing. Depends on where you are. But somehow I'm Staying out of the wind, which is great. Oh, I just got a puff. I spoke too soon. I got a little bit of wind when I, right there. All right. Let's walk down Church Street. Not very long street. It just goes from here to right down there in that corner. And that looks like that's the end of Church Street. Most places where they have Church Street, it's a long street. But not here. I guess it's a short street. Sidewalk is well solid, but I don't think we needed it because well, yesterday we had like a really downpour. It was a good soak, and we got a lot of water yesterday. I'd say about 20, 30 millimeters of rain in a few hours, and it was high winds with it. And then there was going to be a flash freeze, and everybody thought the streets were going to be like skating drinks and ice all over the place, and you'd never get your car doors open. And it didn't work out that way. There was about two or three hours, maybe more, between the time it stopped and when it froze. So you had a, a still mild day, but it wasn't raining after after all that heavy rain. So we had enough time for the cars to all dry off and the streets to get kind of dry, and then it turned cold. So it, it wasn't nearly as bad 
as we anticipated it would be. So that was really good. The street down here is Park Street, and the reason is there's a park right behind it. Though they call this Park Street, there's a large park up there on the hill that goes quite a ways. I'm not going up there today because I know what happens when you go on high elevations and the wind's blowing. If I go up there today, we're going to hear a wind roar in my microphone. So we're going to stay down here, walk around. I have no idea what street I'm on now. Didn't see any sign there. And I'm catching a little bit of a breeze in my face this way. So we'll just walk down here a little bit and then we'll take another direction. It's not enough wind. It's not like anything like it was yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, I did. it was yesterday I made that windy video that wasn't any good. And, no, sorry, it was Thursday. I was going to post it on Friday, so it was Thursday. It was Thursday I made that video, and we were going to put it up for yesterday. But I ended up, I didn't have a video for yesterday because the wind noise was too bad. So This park right across the street is called the Leighton Dillman Park, Dartmouth. If you want to see the sign, we can walk over. Okay, we could go in, but I don't want to go on high elevations. It's all uphill because the wind's going to blow in my in my microphone, and that's going to make a horrible noise. So this park closes at 10 p.m. as do most parks in Halifax. They usually close around 10 o'clock. They open at 5 a.m., which is pretty early. Yeah. Okay. They do have some off-leash areas, but dogs must be on a leash except in the off-leash areas. Um, I, let's see. No, I think it's all dog leash here, as far as I can tell. All right. So, Leighton, Leighton Dillman Park. You know, sometimes they tell you how they got their name, but this one doesn't. And if you want to look at uh, an overall map of Leighton Dillman Park, this is it right here. Quite a large area. It goes from between Victoria Street and Wise Road. It goes all the way up to Wise Road. And Thistle on one side and Park Avenue on the other side. And you have the Dartmouth Common Cemetery right there, too. And, and just on the edge of the park, you have the Bicentennial School. And the rest of it is all park. Okay. So, there you go. Let's walk down this sidewalk. Can we do that? Sure. Why not, eh? We don't have to stick to the streets. We can take sidewalks, too. I've never walked down the sidewalk, ever. First time for me right here. Leighton Dillman Park. And there's a sidewalk runs right down the perimeter of it. And this is all the park you see out through there and up on the side hill around and Wise Road is up there where that glass building is. Okay. Now we'll get that all straightened out. What is this here? This looks like it used to be a road at one time. Don't it? Look at this. This looks like it was a paved road. And then for some reason, they took it out. Let's just walk down it. Because I'm pretty sure this was a road before I ever came here. And for some odd reason, they decided not to use it anymore. And they made that walkway down the edge of the perimeter of where this road was. Never knew that before. First time I ever discovered that. 
I left to tell my wife and my son about it. I discovered a, a road that's no longer in use. Grass is growing up through it and some bushes. I'm getting more wind down here coming towards the harbor. I may have to change my direction if it, if it gets too bad. Yes, it's getting very windy down here. Hmm. What can we do? Try to do something to stay out of the wind if we can. That's why I didn't want to go up to that park. Because I was afraid I'd pick up a lot of wind up there. And I did. I did pick up a lot of wind up in there. So, and up to where I'm walking right here now, I picked up some wind. Could be worse up there though on that hill. I'm looking over at Halifax from here. I am in Dartmouth. I want to show you something down here. You see all these trailers right across Alderney? That's Alderney Street going back and forth there where the cars are going. There's the trailers back in there. We all moved in here around Christmas time. And they're providing. My wife looked it up to see what, that, what they were doing with it. And it's homes for people that have nowhere to live. Look at all the pigeons down here. They're not worried about the cold. They used to have a lot of cold. Yeah, those trailers right there are, are homes for people who don't have a place to go. And they look like they're probably pretty good. They, they moved here by the city, put around in a, in a group. And they look pretty good. So I would say they're probably all right for the people who had, had nowhere to go. So I'm walking on all the way right now. Yeah, it's called Out of the Cold. Out of the Cold in there. The office is that trailer. And then these are the these are the separate houses. These trailers, but they're divided up into houses, so each person has their own door and, and they're way in there. Pretty cool. This may be a short video because anytime I go out and do a video and it's cold out, my battery don't hold up. If it quits on me, I might have to put the ending in on the computer when I get home if it quits. Because it's too cold out here to shift to a second phone. It really is cold. And my fingers are tingling. So if it quits on me, that's the end of this video for today. But so far, in the wind. I don't want to wreck this video trying to walk around in the wind. Amazon Prime doing a video. I mean doing a, a delivery. A video. Doing a delivery. Sorry. I got videos on the brain. Amazon Prime doing a delivery. See as soon as I get off of Alderney away from the water I'm out of the wind now again. So I have to stay up here today. If I'm going to make a video, I have to stay up here, out of the wind.
wind is wind is your enemy making a video because it just blows in a microphone and it's like a, a rumble uh, uh, sounds like thunder off in the distance or something it's a horrible noise and it's impossible to listen to if you're watching a video and there's wind noise you're going to turn it off you're not going to watch it yeah. So here we are back on that North Street again where that sharp turn was up there. And the steep hill is over here. I think that's Victoria Street, that steep hill. So we'll walk over this way and see, but I believe it's Victoria Street. It's got the steep hill going up. But when you come down, you have to go around the other way. There's two steep hills. There's one going up. Victoria, then there's another one coming down, which we didn't walk on that one. There, we're nice and quiet in here. I just got to avoid the wind today. Wait till we get a good day with no wind, and then we can go anywhere we want to go. Today, I just had to find something where I can stay out of the wind couple of office towers right there. Dartmouth do doesn't have a lot of tall buildings. Just a few. Most of the taller buildings are over in Halifax, but we do have a few. It is growing. It's getting a few. I can't say it's Got no tall buildings, but they don't have very many. All right, we'll let that guy go. And we'll go up to the crosswalk. Crosswalk's up here. I should use crosswalks whenever I can. And people know to stop and let me go by. All right, there we are. Let's take this little alleyway up to here. I'm trying to go place I never went before today, and I definitely haven't got on this little street. I don't even know if it has a name. Didn't see a street sign. So, there's probably just an alley behind this building. There's a lot of parking lots downtown here in Dartmouth. There's one right there, and you always see that sign. Unauthorized use, you'll be ticketed and towed at owner's expense. You have to pay your parking or you get into trouble. If you don't pay your parking, you'll get towed and it'll cost you a whole lot more. So you better to pay for parking than pay for a tow truck. That's my opinion. I'm going to try to see how much time has elapsed since I've started this video. It's always nice to keep track of the time and see. We'll try to see what it says here. 34. 34 minutes. So whatever it does now, if it quits, that's still a video. It doesn't have to be an hour every time. It's nice if I can make an hour video for you each time, but it doesn't have to be. Sometimes I go over an hour, and sometimes I don't. So, it all worked out in the end, I guess. I am looking right straight at the ferry terminal building. There's a library on the end, 
and the ferry terminal's in there. There's upstairs and downstairs. Here's a little park at. You might be interested in. There's a few of these around. They call them parks here. Ontario, they call them parkettes. These little parks that's in the corner take up two streets and a walkway through. And they usually just have a few benches and maybe a tree or two. And that's about it. So this is called Joe Howe. Joe Howe, named after Joseph Howe, who's a very famous person that lived in Halifax. There's a street named after him and different things. Alright, so Alderney Drive they call it, it's not Alderney Street. I called it Alderney Street, but it's actually Alderney Drive. Alright, so I goes on to tell you about Joseph Howe. He lived from 1804 to 1873. And it tells about him to what all he did. I won't read it all right now, but so he was a politician, I guess, and he was in the government, and then, yes, in, in 1873, the government house in Halifax. Oh, that was his last year, because he died in 1873. Over a hundred years ago. About 150 years ago, he died. Well, I'm back on Alderney again, and this is the windy street, but hopefully I'll be able to get through here. Maybe we'll walk up Portland today. You want to do that? Maybe I won't have too much wind trouble walking up Portland. I'm hoping anyway. Halifax over there in the background. I'm glad I'm over on this side today because it's probably windy in Halifax. It happens a lot. Sometimes it's better on this side and sometimes it's better over there. You just never know. So anyway, we'll let these people go by before we walk out there and bump into them and get them all paranoid because I'm running a camera. All right, there we go. Up in Portland, which is a little bit windy. We got a little bit of wind blowing up here, but I don't think it's enough to hurt anything. Okay, we'll speed up and get past here. And some people just look at you and smile when they're doing a video and others get kind of like, I don't want to be on that. There could be a number of reasons they don't want to be on it. I won't name them, but a few things come to mind. One, one thing that probably comes to mind is he was young. Maybe he doesn't want his family to know where he is. Could be something like that. They have a number of halfway houses around here and homeless shelters and, and uh, so that kind of stuff. Maybe he doesn't want nobody to see him. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe just a, maybe just a private person. He got no reason. He just doesn't want to be on it. I don't know. But we'll do the right thing. I promised him I'd take it off, and I will. I know I walked on Portland Street a few times in my videos, but it is the main street going back towards where I live. So. I just walk on it. It's a short walk from here, so. I'm 
I don't live right downtown. I live just, just I live in Dartmouth, but it, but it's not downtown. So I have to walk a bit of a walk to get uptown from from where I live. I'm hoping this video turns out good. And there's not too much wind. Get a little paranoid after one windy video like we had yesterday. Oh, or, day, or Thursday, I should say. And it was bad. I thought I could salvage it and cut out a few pieces, but no, it was it was beyond it was beyond saving. So today I'm going to try not to have to worry about wind. And we'll walk around where we're sheltered by the buildings and and it won't be a problem. What I can tell you is a lot better here than it is at Winnipeg. <laughs> I got I got a one of the one of my viewers I talk to sometimes I met him in person on the street here in Halifax back a few months ago. He lives in Winnipeg and he's telling me about the temperatures out there like minus 25 and 30, that's before the wind chill. Like really, we haven't seen that here. So I'm happy I don't live in Winnipeg. I worked one summer out there up at the airliner hotel or motel whatever it was. it was called it was a hotel and motel right up close to the airport I worked there one summer back when I was early 20s trying to figure out what I wanted to do checking out this country from east coast to west coast tried my hand at a lot of jobs trying to figure out what I really wanted to be, what I wanted to do. I went to school to be a chef, took uh, cook training to be a chef. And I just went the year in college and didn't go back for my, for my blocks. So I never made it to chef, but I had chef training and Worked in kitchens and that kind of stuff. And I've worked in farming, drove farm tractors out in the field. Worked at, in a bakery for about five years. And then somewhere along the way, oh yeah, I put in a short time driving taxi one winter. One winter in Fredericton, I couldn't find anything else to do and I had to survive. So I drove a cab in Fredericton for about six months there one year. Started in the fall and I left there in the spring. Went to Ontario. Got my first truck driving job when I went to Ontario. I had a, I had a bus license. A bus is a higher license than a straight truck. So I was able to drive like a five ton truck and throttle doing deliveries. And that was my first job. And I tried a few other things. I delivered uh, feed to, to, from a feed mill to horse farms mostly. And delivered, I was working for one company delivering bulk food. And that somehow I ran into my, I ran into my boss that I worked for for about almost 20 years, all told. And I was driving a straight truck, and I brought feed out to his farm, and we got talking. Seemed like a really nice guy, and headed off there, and he said, "Why don't you come to work for me?" So I asked him. I said, "You don't have any straight trucks here now." He said, "I don't have my trailer license," and he said, "Well, go get it." And I'll give you a job. I said, go get your trailer license and you're, and you're guaranteed a job. So, okay. So I went down and took a little bit of training on trailers. Got my license. And I called him up. I 
got my license on Friday. I called him up Friday. He said, come out and see me. I came out and seen him on Friday. And he said, told me where the factory was, that the truck down there. He said, start Monday morning. So that's how quick I get into it. Tracks for trailer driving. But I knew Toronto by then from doing deliveries with five tons. I had two or three jobs where I drove a five ton delivery of different products around Toronto. And so I, I knew the city pretty well. And then I got my first trailer job. And then I spent a lot of years driving a tractor trailer around across the country up and down the highway. Uh, well, I guess I can go. I don't have a hand signal, but I'm going anyway. And that's what I did until I retired. I was driving a truck for the same guy when I retired. The same guy I had got my license with over 20 years before that. I was there when I retired. I stayed till I was 67 and I came back came to Atlantic Canada to retire to a thriving, wonderful, beautiful city that I can't say enough about Halifax. And this is where I live now. So now you know a lot about my story, how I came to be here in Halifax and my journey through life at various jobs and occupations, trying to figure out where I fit in, as a lot of young people do. They, they go across the country, they go out to British Columbia, they go different places, they try jobs and, and they go to university, which I never did, but I went to college, I never went to university. But anyways, I, I managed to find things that I could do and, and work at and earn a living. Now I'm retired. And my wife is driving a truck, she's a courier driver. And not long ago she bought her truck bought her, her courier truck. She was driving it, working for somebody, and he wanted to get out of it, so he sold her the truck. So now she's a owner-operator of a courier truck. And she loves it. She really loves that job. She was made for it. Me, I wouldn't be any good at courier work, because you got like 50 deliveries in a day, a lot of days. Then you got maybe another 20 pickups or 15 and things like that. And that's not my type of driving. I used to take a whole trailer load to one place and sometimes two or three stops, but that'd be about it. Well, I'm in front of Tim Hortons and I'm gonna sign off right here because the battery might go dead and then I won't be able to sign off. So I'm gonna do it right here. If you enjoyed this little walk around today in Dartmouth, you can push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I would just love it if you would push that subscribe button. And I'm almost up to 700 subscribers now. I think I'm just a few steps away from that. I just got a sign saying a low battery. I stopped just the right time. So if you can, push that, push that subscribe button. And we'll see you all in a couple of days, okay? Bye for now.